about half of those shows. Oh, I didn't know he did that one. I didn't know he did that one. Right. Pretty interesting. <laughs> uh, look at this beautiful shot. Sunset from DuPont Parkway Bridge. You can see Lookout Mountain in the background. Absolutely beautiful shot. Matthew Snyder, you nailed it. Good job. Send pics to weather at local3news.com. Boy, do we love getting them. This is a beautiful spot that we live in, isn't it? Uh, 49 degrees is the forecast. Ooh, warmed up a bit more than expected. 53 for the high. It did not cool down quite as much as we thought it would, but it was still chilly out. 40 degrees of the three degree guarantee jackpot. We'll do the drawing at the end of the month. You can register at local3news.com slash three dash degree. Tomorrow, warming it up a little bit more. We'll get up to 59 degrees for our high tomorrow. So lock that in. Freezing tonight. We're going to warm up tomorrow through Friday, though, and then mild this weekend with rain this weekend, dousing rain this weekend also. Right now it's 35 degrees, 35 degrees already. Uh, dew point of 29, and yeah, our winds fortunately are calm. Already down to 32 in Dalton, 28 Cleveland, 26 degrees in Murphy, North Carolina. Well, tomorrow we'll drop a few more degrees down to 32 and then ramp it back up to the mid to upper 50s with southerly winds. We'll have a high of 59 sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Not much on the radar and satellite right now, nor will there be through the overnight and really through the day on Thursday. Notice that high pressure skirting off to the east a bit as it does the flow around that high will give us that southerly wind that's going to help warm us up along with the sunshine into the mid to upper 50s in the afternoon. Then on Friday, southerly winds continue. We'll hit about 60 in the afternoon and we will see clouds building, but not until late Friday. Looking ahead into Saturday, Saturday morning, I do think we'll see some scattered showers and then broken showers on and off through the rest of your Saturday. This is five o'clock again. You can see not much, but a few showers here and there. I don't think most of your Saturday is going to be a rain out. I would expect at any time to get a spotty shower or two, but what you just saw moving through during the morning is going to be about the most rain that we have during the day until late at night. Then we'll start to see more scattered showers ahead of the main batch of rainfall that's going to be sliding through overnight into early Sunday morning. That will continue to work its way through until about noon, and then we'll see everything pushing off to the east. As the rain leaves, the colder air moves in. So through the afternoon, this stops at 1 o'clock, we're going to see temperatures actually falling. So while we'll have a high of 57 on Sunday, it's going to be early in the day, and temperatures will be falling out of the 50s and into the 40s as we head into the afternoon hours. Rainfall over the weekend could be pretty nice, about an inch and a half to two and a half inches of rain expected. So tonight, patchy overnight fog with freezing temperatures. 20s, low 30s. We'll drop a few more degrees across the Tennessee Valley and then a nice warm up as we climb into the mid to upper 50s tomorrow afternoon. Quick look at the storm alert seven day forecast showing the rain moving through uh, Saturday. Most of the heavy rain overnight Saturday into Sunday morning. Temperatures dropping Sunday and cool dry weather for the first few days of next week.